Hello and welcome to our video. Today I will be taking you through the basics of our Neuralink platform. For those of you that aren't familiar with Neuralink, it is Shimmer's newest platform that allows you to capture both GSR and ECG data from up to 45 people simultaneously and in real time. Let's dive in and see what Neuralink is all about. Before opening the software, there are a few pieces of hardware that need to be prepared. The first is the base which connects to your PC via USB cord. The base is the piece of hardware that allows you to configure the sensors in the software, charge the sensors and ex export the SD card data collected on the sensors themselves. Next you'll need to connect your webcam to the PC and set it up in a location that will capture the subjects engaging with the content of your study. Following this, you will need to connect the span to your computer. The span is a radio receiver that allows our sensors to wirelessly stream the data being collected from the sensors into the Neuralink software. For this reason, the span must be placed in a central location that will allow all the sensors being used in the study to communicate, it, communicate with it properly. Finally, we have the Neuralink sensor that works alongside the software. Now that these pieces of hardware are set up, we can open up Neuralink and begin configuring the sensors in the software. I have now started the Neuralink software. To begin configuring the sensors in the software, click on the Manage Devices tab. Before you do anything, it's important to ensure that you have connected the span and base correctly. You will know that they are not connected properly if you see the messages, no spans detected and no consensus base detected. As you can see, Neuralink is recognizing the span and the base, so I will go ahead and enable the webcam feed by clicking the Enable Webcam button in the bottom left corner. Now that the webcam is up and running, all the necessary hardware is in place and we can begin pairing the sensors in the software. I will now start a new trial by clicking the start a new trial button and entering a unique trial name. For the purposes of this video, I will use the name demo video. The shimmers will now begin to pair with Neuralink automatically. You will know that they are paired properly when a green check mark appears over the sensor in the software. We are now ready to begin collecting data. In order to start collecting data, we will need to connect the sensor to the electrodes and place them in the proper location on the body. To start this process, we remove from the base the number of sensors we require for our study. For this video, I remove just one sensor and snap it into the left wristband I have already positioned on my left wrist. The two electrodes used for GSR will be placed on my index and middle fingers. For ECG, one electrode will go on my left wrist and the second will be placed under my right collarbone. Next, I'm going to snap the leads into the electrodes and connect the leads to the sensors. The leads connected to the GSR electrodes will go in the green ports on the sensor and the leads connected to the ECG electrodes will go in the white and black ports. We are now ready to start recording data. Navigate to the live data tab at the top of the screen and press the record button. Data is now being collected to a local database within the software and also to the inbuilt SD card on the sensor. While some sample data is being collected, I would like to point out a couple of important icons that are located in the devices box on the left side of the screen here. The SD card icon here is an important indicator of whether the SD card on that unit is synced up with the software and storing data to it. You will know it is properly synced if it is highlighted green, like you see here. The other important icon to look at is the one that has three signal bars. This icon gives you an indication of how well each sensor is connected to the radio span. Ideally each sensor will have a full three bar connection to the span. If you notice that any of the sensors do not have three bars, you might need to relocate the span or the sensors to have the best possible connection. This is very important because a good connection to the span is needed to stream the data in real time. I also want to briefly bring your attention to the live metrics being generated in real time based on the data that is being collected. Group response, plopper sensor, plopper shimmer, and dashboard. More details about these live metrics can be found in our advanced software video where we will be working with a larger data set 
to bring more meaning to these metrics. I'm now ready to stop recording data, so I'll si simply click the record button again. We have now recorded data to the inbuilt SD card on the sensor, so we can begin importing that data into Neuralink and then exporting to a .csv file for analysis purposes if we so wish. The first step is to disconnect the leads from the sensor and place it back into the base. Next you will need to navigate back to the Manage Devices tab and wait until the sensor has a green check mark over it. You can see that the sensor now has a green check mark so I can go ahead and import data. I will now click the import button in the lower right corner and the data I just collected will be imported into the software. You will see that once the data is done importing, your link will automatically navigate you to the Manage Data tab and the data will be under the unique trial name that we set at the beginning of this process. To export the raw data collected, simply click the checkbox next to the corresponding trial and hit the export button in the lower right corner. When the data is done exporting, click open path and you will see the .csv files that contain the raw data you just collected. It's also important to note that the PC recorded data and video, or the data that was streamed live, are automatically saved into the Neuralink database on your PC. You can locate your Neuralink database by right clicking the corresponding trial. So that concludes this video. To recap, you learned how to properly set up this system, set up a new trial, configure the sensors in Neuralink, collect data and manage the data. Be sure to check out our next video which will look at some of the more advanced features that the Neuralink software has to offer. If you have any queries on the Neuralink platform, please contact us at info at We look forward to hearing from you.